I'm definitely carrying around too much crap. And, and I think it's about embracing that feeling and not being afraid of that feeling necessarily. If you feel like you've got less ideas, yeah, search elsewhere in the band for more inspiration. Or just kind of embrace that feeling like if you have less ideas, then maybe just play less and play simpler. Don't feel like you have to kind of put all the notes in. Because actually that's, that the sincerity in doing that is, is kind of what, what draws people in. So today we're in pool. Was it fun? Yeah. Who did you see? Last night was super fun. No, we started like 45 minutes. I only heard the, f the first part, I heard three. Can I talk to her? Today is day 19 of being on the road and I would say definitely around the three week mark or into the third week is when it really starts to feel like you've been gone a while. And it's the little things you have to be careful of. The most frustrating thing is sort of, you finally get it right and you're trying to talk with your people at home and a technological glitch, like the Wi-Fi not being strong or the signal, whatever it is, those little frustrations can mount, at least for me, very easily. And then before you know it, what was gonna be your 10 minute window of time to talk becomes quickly like, I can't hear you. Let's try this again later. I know personally that's what I have to watch out for. Fortunately, there's video. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi, Dada, we tried to FaceTime you, but you didn't call back and you didn't answer. Bye. Uh. We're going to go on this like six mile hike. I found this great lake to walk around. It's like. I would say the only thing that concerns me about that question is the, the idea of saying I want to put family first but I also want to give the music career a shot. For me it's family first and career second but I still want to jump at the right opportunity and also give the music career a shot. To me that's somewhat of a red flag in that I don't think it's something you can just give a shot. I mean that language in and of, in and of itself sort of speaks casually of the endeavor and uh, it takes it takes everything. It takes everything that you've got. It'll take everything that you and your partner, your spouse, have to sort of make a go of it. It's not. Um, I, I've never. I've never met anybody who has made it to a level of success where they're able to be a, a self-sustaining professional musician. You know, at any level, who looked at it as something they would just give a shot to. I, I think that's a recipe for failure. But I'd also say that it's crucial that you pick the right person as your partner. I mean, getting that part right is everything. If if the person you're with doesn't truly understand um, what you're about, what you're trying to do at the core, at the fiber, fiber of your very essence, it's not gonna work. But that also goes both ways. Like if you are not so sure of it yourself, then why would you expect that person to be sure of it for you or with you? Luxembourg. France. Wow. Please remain seated on the gate area until you are called forward. Watch on board and please place your smaller bag under the seat in front of you.
So I'm in Seattle, Washington. This is the last day of the uh, Snarky Puppy Tour for me. They, they continue on. I got to thinking, this is a two-way thing, right? It's not just like, how do I do it? It's how do we do it? To make this worthwhile and complete, we really should get her take on it. It's hard, right? Because there's like so much stuff in these questions. You have to find, you have to figure out like, what's the actual question? I think, first of all, these are genuine concerns. Um, but in reality, I think that having some physical distance doesn't necessarily mean that you will be, it, there'll be a lack of presence in each other's lives, um, especially in this day and age, it's so easy to stay connected on a daily basis wherever you are um, through even video chat or any sort of texting. So the checking in is much easier than it used to be. Um, and then on top of that, I also personally feel like it's nice once in a while to miss your partner or spouse. Um, that's a good feeling and to have a bunch to talk about and connect about um, when that time is that you get to come back together and rehash everything. So um, obviously the person who is being left at home has to be okay with that and feel like they can manage things without feeling a giant overwhelm. But um, in the end, it's also a lot of exciting things usually happen during that time for both people. And um, it's a mix up from the daily grind. And I always feel like it's a, it's a happy thing when uh, we get to come back together and just connect about it. If we were on one of those dating shows where we had to guess what the other person would say, we would have won. Really? Yeah. I already said most of the same things. Oh. <laughs> well, we've been together a while. I guess we're on the same page. And that's a good thing. Are you happy to see Baba? Yeah. Yeah. You play a song? 